Brian Pearson has a nose for hops. He knows them by name and by scent. He's a home brewer, and five years ago, Brian decided he wanted to make his beer with fresh hops. So he asked his local brew shop owner if anyone around here grows them. Cannot grow hops in Florida. Uh, well, what if you could? Cannot grow hops in Florida. I never told my home brew shop owner what I do for a living. Dr. Pearson is a horticulturist for the University of Florida. His area of expertise, researching specialty crops. Who better to answer the question, can you grow hops in Florida? That was really the beginning of our research program, if you will. Fast forward five years and one Department of Agriculture grant. Brian is giving me a tour of the university's research facility in Apopka, where 20 varieties of hops are growing. They're climbers. By midsummer, they'll almost reach the tops of these strings, 20 feet high. If I didn't know better, I would think you're growing some pole beans here. Yes, uh, these plants are voracious growers. And some are growing better than others. This one is already producing its first cones of the season. The cone is the part that will be harvested and added to beer to give it flavor, aroma, and the right balance of bitter to sweet. The question Pearson wants to answer is, can hop plants in Florida's environment produce enough of these cones to be profitable for farmers? Farmers aren't the only ones eager for an answer. Let's get it rolling. The craft beer industry has exploded in the U.S., and Florida is home to more than 250 breweries. John Denny founded First Magnitude Brewing in Gainesville. More and more people uh, have a great interest in local products, and I think that's one of the reasons why craft breweries are so popular. But his brewery, like many others, gets most of its hops from the Pacific Northwest. We are about as geographically far away <laughs> from uh, the traditional hop growing uh, uh, region of America as, as you can be. Denny thinks of the money he could save on shipping if he had a local source for high-quality hops. That's why brewers and farmers alike were excited about Pearson's research. But the doctor cautions optimism. It's so early, it's hard to say. The biggest thing that we're dealing with is very low yields right now. Pearson's Apopka plants have produced only about a quarter of the cones produced by their counterparts in Washington State. He says that maybe because they're still young, hops don't reach full production maturity until they're at least three years old. Pearson plants are less than a year old. So time will tell if Florida can truly become a hops powerhouse. In the meantime, Pearson wanted to give the beer community a taste of what's possible. We were remarking as we were planting the hops, how cool would it be if one day in the future we could go to a bar and we could order a Florida hops beer? Here we are tonight enjoying that beer. On this night in April, First Magnitude released a Popka Hop Pale Ale, a small batch brewed with four pounds of fresh hops harvested from Pearson's UF research facility. This is a photo of the hops going into the brew. They were very good and flavorful, and we're, we're very pleased with the results. So were his customers. Very nice. That's a good balance. It's good. It's the first beer to get the Florida Department of Agriculture's Fresh from Florida label, and Pearson hopes it won't be the last. For him, this beer, five years in the making, has strong Thanks notes of science and passion, and lingering on the palate, a hint of possibility. Delicious. Excellent brewing. Good. Thank you. Very much yeah. like it. Yeah. I only wish Eric could be here. Uh,